Good morning, Dims. And why am I saying morning? Because it's half six in the morning. And what better way to spend my time not sleeping than talking to you online? You lucky, lucky people. I know you're all super excited because it's Sunday and that means it's Obsessive Sundays. And here are my top five things I'm obsessed with this week. Number five is Ikea. Yeah. I feel like my life is sponsored by Ikea at the moment. Nearly everything I own in this house is probably Ikea. The sofa I'm sitting on is Ikea. Picture frames are Ikea. Wardrobes are Ikea. And I think nearly every house in the country probably owns a piece of mail. Probably. Is that right? Do you own a piece of mail? I think that's probably right. More importantly though, I'm obsessed with these adorable glasses. How cute is that? Number four on the list is a make of yesterday. Uh, probably should have videoed it actually. I don't know why I didn't. Um, guess I was lazy or didn't really think about it. And maybe I should up my game. Uh, I don't know. But basically, it's these cushions behind me. So I made some cushions yesterday. Uh, or cushion covers, I should say. This is it. See? Zips and everything. You may recognise the fabric as that was what I made my bow tie out of uh, last week. And if you don't believe I made them, I don't have to prove it to you, I don't owe you anything, so tough. But no, they're a really nice fabric, they're really lovely and soft. And they're our new sofa cushions. So we went to Ikea because we've got those 60 by 60 pillows, so those really big fluffy pillowcases, which is lovely. But they only had like three styles of um, pillowcase to choose from, so the, the standard grey charcoal pillowcases, which we have in our bedroom, because uh, typically Ikea sponsors our life. Um, they also had it in teal, which would have been nice, but probably wouldn't have suited the room. Um, and then there was like this weird pattern one, which was lovely, but just wasn't our, our taste. So yeah, had some spare fabric, had some spare time, and made some cushion covers. Three and two are kind of a joint effort this week. So three is a, a band called Pentatonix. You've probably heard of them um, if you're on the internet, I guess, because they're quite an internet sort of band. Uh, they originally found fame on a um, game show in America. I think it was called Sing It or some sort of song program. Essentially though they are an acapella band that primarily do covers of uh, pop bands and R&B and trance classics. They've also done things like the Timeline of Music where they start from like the 1600s up to present day. They've also done the Timeline of Beyonce, Timeline of Michael Jackson. Um, they're really really good. They've got a YouTube channel as well so you look at them on YouTube. And they've got three um, albums and two Christmas albums. I think they're working on an original album as well. Their first original song, Love Again, is just amazing. The video is fantastic online um, and it's a great track for the gym. Or just making yourself feel upbeat when you're out walking or I listen to it every morning when I walk to work. I am at a loss for Got Mitch, Avi, Scott, Kirsty, and Kevin. Uh, Avi and Kevin are on the uh, bass and the beatboxing. So Mitch and Scott are on male vocals, and Kirsty is the female vocal who brings it as an all rounder. They're a really great band, and uh, I just think they're really super genuine, down to earth people. And if you follow them on YouTube as well as like listen to their music, it's just a really good experience. So yeah. One of my top five this week. Leading on from that is Superfruit, which is a YouTube channel that Scott and Mitch do on the side. It's brilliant because you can really tell they're really best friends. They've known each other since they were like eight or ten or something silly like that. And they're just there having a good time. They do really silly videos like In Can Challenge. They get guests in like Tyler Oakley and Todrick Hall. They do covers, remixes. They did Frozen medleys. They do everything. It's really, really fun. Generally, it revolves around music, um, but I love that. So that's fine. And that's what's one of my top twos. But yeah, you should really give it a look and uh, see what you think. P.S. Shout out to Scott and Mitch. Love you guys. Number one on this today, which doesn't need to be number one, but just has just ended up as number one, is Pride. So today is Leeds Pride, which is a celebration of the LGBTQ community. Pride events have been happening all around the country at the moment. So I think we just had Brighton uh, yesterday, maybe Liverpool, and we've had uh, London already. There are lots of cities in the UK and all around the world that are having Pride events. And I just think it's a really good time to remember... Um, where the message really started and also you know getting community together as well as having a good time and I think you know pe sometimes people lose the message of what Pride's really about and it gets a bit commercial but ultimately it has to be commercial because it wouldn't happen because we wouldn't get sponsorship we wouldn't get trains floats we wouldn't get the publicity so it's kind of a mixed mixed bag really isn't it um Rob and I go today and we're going to support some of our friends who are in the in the parade they're in the Samba band um we were going to go in the Samba band but we then realized that Rob has no rhythm whatsoever so um, that would be quite awkward when we'd be all like maracaring ahead and Rob would be just dancing to his own beat, which is fine. 
But when you're sort of bringing a band together with the rhythm, probably not the best solution, is it? So yeah, it's about seven-ish now, I think, seven in the morning. So we're going to head down there in about five hours' time. Um, hopefully the sun will come out. Mm, looking a bit cloudy today, but still, the rain won't hold us back. We'll uh, have a dance, have a boogie, have a good time. And then as the day progresses, maybe we'll go for a drink and have some drinks with our friends. But we shall see. And yeah, that's it. A simple top five this week. And I've probably woken Rob up talking to you on the camera. But yeah, it's super early. I'm still a bit groggy, still a bit bunged up. And apologies for that. But I thought, you know, good little start to the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. What are you guys up to this weekend? What was your top five? Again, what's your top five? Are there any videos you'd like me to make? I'm looking for some new demonstrations ideas if uh, you'd like to throw some my way. So if there's any kits you want me to try, any sewing creations you want me to make, baking, anything, give me a shout. And I'll look forward to seeing you next week. So, see you later guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.